fish went swimming one day into the ocean and far away. She liked to collect lots of shiny things until the ocean was full of tins. A little girl came along one day, realised her town needed to tidy away. All the mess on the beach and sea, so everyone could live happily. <laughs> There was once a small and quiet town that overlooked a brilliant blue ocean. And beneath the surface of the warm, shallow water, there was a city of coral. Shimmering fish darted and dived and curious creatures scuttled into hidden places. Amid the hubbub swam a young orange fish called Alba. Hello. Hello, Alba, who lived inside an old spotted shell. That's right. Alba collected beautiful objects. I have an eye for such things, she would say. Every year on my birthday, I say something special. She loved things that were spotty, stripy and round. Hello? Hello, can you see me? Can you see my eye? Hello? Hello? Can you see my eye? Bumpy, spiky and bright, or curvy, swirly and small. Over the years, she grew and she grew and she grew, just like you do. But as time went by, Alba found fewer beautiful objects and more strange, unfriendly things appeared. Alba watched the coral city change and every year more of her friends left. One year on Alba's birthday, she realised she had no one to celebrate with. All of my friends have gone. And even though she searched and searched, she couldn't find a single beautiful thing for her collection. Oh, I can't find anything bright. Feeling sad, but still determined, she pushed on through the murky water until she was the furthest she had ever been from home. Hello, is anybody here? Suddenly, she noticed something bright glowing in the darkness. Swimming closer, Alba realised it was a pearl. How wonderful! She exclaimed. It was just out of reach. Resting in the most unusual shell Alba had ever seen. That's unusual. She squished Whee. and squeezed Whoa. herself in. Perfect! She beamed, holding on tightly to her new treasure. But just then, the curious shell began moving with the ocean current. Whoa! 
Whoa! Carrying Alba with it. No amount of wriggling would set her free and all she could do was drift. Finally, Alba floated to the surface, where a peculiar new world appeared. Giant creatures moved on the surface of the water and white light shone through the darkness. Alba saw hundreds of smaller objects too. They looked just like the ones that had littered the reef. She looked across at the lights and longed to go home. That night, she dreamt of her old spotted shell nestled within the city of Coral. The next morning, a little girl was walking along the beach. La 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 la, what treasures am I, am I going to find today? Looking for beautiful objects for her collection. But it wasn't a shiny treasure she found. It was Alba. She looked at the barely moving fish trapped in the bottle. I'll get you out, she said. Then she looked at the plastic bottles and bags scattered all over the beach. This must have come from my town. She realised she had to do something. I think it's time to tidy up. Alba wriggled in her hands. Don't worry, I'll put you back in the ocean as soon as it's safe. The girl rescued Alba from the bottle and put her in clean water. When people asked about the orange fish, the girl told them how Alba was found. Soon everyone realised they had to change the way they lived. The whole town worked together to clear up the mess. They cleaned and cleaned and bit by bit, piece by piece, the sea started to get a little brighter again. Once the ocean was clean enough for Alba to return, the girl said goodbye and released her back into the water. Bye-bye, Alba, stay safe. Alba was excited to go home. What will it be like now? She wondered. And still clutching her precious pearl, she went in search of her old spotted shell and her collection of treasures. When she reached her old home, she found that most of the strange objects had gone. It's clean. On Alba's 100th birthday, she celebrated with her friends among a world of coral that was becoming busy and bright again. Alba's new addition to her collection dazzled her guests. As they gathered round the pearl, I told them about a story all about a brave little girl. She loved to play by a brilliant blue ocean. The end.